Hey everyone, Tim here from CubicKing77.com here to do a video showing the latest and easiest method to root your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch on FL24 Ice Cream Sandwich. This is only for FL24, so go ahead and go into Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and double check and make sure your build number, the last four digits, say FL24. That is the latest build right now. That is most likely what you're on if you're on FI27 or something different. I have a video showing how to root that variant if you uh, would like to, or you can just check for updates and you should be able to get an update to FL24. So that is uh, pretty much all you have to do on your device itself. Everything else is to be set up through your PC. I do want to make a note that no data will be wiped, uh, no pictures erased, nothing like that, so you do not have to worry. All of your stuff will be intact. But anyways, the first step would be to click on the link in the description of the video. We're going to need to download a file to our PC. Clicking on the link will take you to this website, our workload 12's Android repository. All you have to do is click and download this file right here. Um, FL24 rooted, no data, so no data will be wiped, uh, EXE, and that is it. So that is the specific file you need to download. Just click on it. It'll take a little while to download. The file size is pretty large. Once you have that file downloaded, go ahead and go into your downloads folder, and inside it, the download should look just like this. Go ahead and double click on it and hit run. Once you hit run, it should open up this Odin one click. If you have any issues at all, you might want to try and right click on this and hit run as administrator. So if you have any problems at all, you might want to just do that uh, right off the bat. It's just hit run as administrator, allow it user account control once it asks, hit yes, and then it'll open it up. So now we are in the Odin one click. Once you have it opened up, you're just about ready to go. If you do not, I highly recommend installing the drivers on your PC for the Epic 4G Touch. I will link to them in the description of the video to download and install them. So if you do not have those on your PC, go ahead and install them now. Uh, once you have the drivers installed, you have Odin opened up, you can just power off your Epic 4G Touch. And once fully powered off, we need to get into download or Odin mode. To do so, press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time. Keep them held down, and then it should take us to this warning screen. Just go ahead and press volume up to continue, and they take us into download mode. So that is uh, all the steps you have to do now. We have Odin opened up. We have our phone in download mode. Now just grab your micro USB cable. Plug your device into your PC. If for any reason it decides to install any drivers, let them install. Give that a bit of time to install, but then once those drivers are done installing, a yellow box should pop up in Odin like so, and it should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is. Just make sure that a yellow box that says COM shows up. That lets you know that Odin recognizes your device. So that is it. Uh, that's all the necessary steps. All you have to do now is just hit that start button, and it will automatically root your device. It's not going to wipe any data. This will not install a custom recovery, so you will still have stock recovery. So keep that in mind. I'll be doing a separate video showing you how to install a custom recovery. I will link to that in the description of the video as well. So uh, you will see a green progress bar in Odin, a blue progress bar on your device, letting you know that things are running through. Some troubleshooting steps if you have any issues, if things get stuck, try a different cable. That's the main troubleshooting step is to try a different cable. Um, Blackberry cables seem to work the best. That seems, uh, that seems to be what people have the most luck with. Also, another troubleshooting step would be to try a different USB port. Try a um, try reinstalling drivers as well on your PC. So those are some of the Odin troubleshooting steps if you have any issues whatsoever. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this run through, and once it is nearing completion, I will be back. I also want to make a quick note that while this runs through, make sure your computer does not go into hibernation or sleep in any way. Make sure you do not shut off your PC or unplug the cable. That uh, could potentially brick your device if you unplug the cable while this is running through. All right, so it looks like it is just finishing up. Usually it ends on the modem, and once it is done, it should automatically reboot your device. All right, you will see reset, pass, and that is it removed, and it should reboot our device. Like I said, this first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual. Uh, I'm not too positive, but don't be alarmed if it does take a little bit longer. But you'll see it'll boot up just fine. No data will be wiped, and that should be just about it. Our phone should be rooted. Once it says pass, you can unplug our device from our computer. We do not need it plugged in anymore. And I'll be back once this fully boots up. 
All right, my phone has now fully booted up. Uh, it actually just booted back up. You will go ahead and go into your app drawer and you will see an application called Super SU right there. That lets you know that it did run through and root your device. To double check, you can use any root application or you can go and download the root checker application from the Play Store, which is why I did. I'm gonna hit verify root access. I'm gonna grant it super user permissions. And it says, congratulations, this device has root access. And that's it. So that's, uh, you are now fully rooted. If you do want to install a custom recovery to install ROMs, I will link to a video once I make it in the description, uh, just how to install a custom recovery on FL24. Uh, but that's it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Please subscribe to me if this video helped you out. I would really appreciate it. Also, give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.